Hello and welcome to PC Error Detective. In today's video, we're going to walk you through, step by step, how to open a port in Windows Firewall. This process is essential for allowing specific applications to communicate through your firewall securely. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on helpful tech tips and tutorials. All right, let's get started. Step one. First, let's open the Windows Defender Firewall with advanced security. To do this, go to your Windows search box at the bottom of the screen and type in Windows Defender Firewall with advanced security. Once you see it in the search results, click to open it. Step two. Now on the left side of the firewall window, you'll see a few different options. Find and click on inbound rules. This section controls how incoming data is managed through your firewall. Step three. Next, uh, on the right side of the panel, click on new rule. This button will allow us to create a custom rule to open the specific port we need. Step four. When the new rule window opens, you'll see several rule types. For this tutorial, select port, then click next. Choosing port ensures that the rule we create is for a specific port rather than an application. Step 5. In this step, you'll be asked to choose between TCP and UDP. Select TCP since this protocol is widely used. Below that, enter the specific port number in the field labeled Specific Local Ports. When you're ready, click Next. Step 6. Now you'll need to define the action to be taken. Select the option that says Allow the Connection and then click Next. This will permit the specified port to communicate freely through the firewall. Step 7. In the next window, you'll see options for when this rule should apply. Make sure to check all three boxes, Domain, Private, and Public, so that the rule will be active no matter what type of network you're connected to. Then click Next. Step 8. Now it's time to name your new rule. It's helpful to label it with a combination of the application's name and the port number, so you can easily identify it later if needed. Finally, after entering a name, click Finish to save and apply your new rule. And that's it. Um, you've successfully opened a port in Windows Firewall. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.